it does bother me that uh, yeah. Akuma does not lock in with the Akuma. Like, you, you have a clear... How are you making this decision to say one over the other? Oh, uh, you know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going <laughs> to say Akuma. Okay. It's fine. We got Fiend oh on his classic, his classic Atori uh, loadout here. That's super fun to see. Stack on Taros. Um, and we've got Akuma and Naji. On, uh, it's not quite the Chronix. No. It's like, it's like... It's the, the... I feel I like... I was gonna say Kraeros, but it's not. It's the, it's the... On I, I will say, as, as much onyx? as Onyx is... The, the, what, the Tonyx? Yeah, Taros Onyx. Uh, yeah, Ter... It's, it's hard, actually. It doesn't work quite as well. It's like, more like Teronyx. I don't know. Chronix just had such a nice ring to it. It did. And how it, it worked and very well. it was. Um, I am noticing that, uh, the, the... The problems from Onyx is that, you know, the knockout potential is not there, the survivability is there, but also, like, I feel like Onyx falls off pretty hard when you're not coupling it with Blasters, and everybody thinks Blasters are the worst right now. Even though they're not! I don't think so. But they feel that way because the Light Recovery knocks out 10 damage later. Najee now down to the final stock. Sack will also get taken out there, but that's just the first stock from Sack. Meanwhile, Fiend, not exactly the highest defense legend on the screen, but the longest surviving finally yeah. losing that first stock. Grandpa comes through, and Akuma can make a recovery. Oh, nice. Almost made that comeback there. Instead, Sack gets the Nair, gets the chase dodge while swimming to make it back, and Fiend neutral lights both Najee and Akuma. I'm like switching between Akuma and Akuma. So you are, yeah, yeah, you've done great. Nice job, dude. Thank you. I just made your job so difficult <laughs> right off the start. I need, I need someone else to tell me what's right. Hold on. You, you, yeah, you, you, you know, talk production, about production. The they'll, they'll figure it out for us. Meanwhile, Najee comes down, hits that down to yo. Can they get the edge guard onto Fiend? He does get the wall touch. So Akuma coming in here, oh, don't feel you. it all. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you, did you hear what he said? Yes. It's Akuma. He said, "Say Akuma," and then you switch to Akuma. Well, you know who's not playing on the screen right now, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. You're good. Oh, that's pretty cool. Side stick comes through. That's game. Fiend and Sack. What about side stick as a finisher? Yeah, because, like, okay, it's fine because it was cool because it got the catch, but, like, if he could D-Light Sayer, that's, like, he was already further to the left. Like, you you just force-directed it, of, like, to I feel a further like if you box. know what moves knock out, there's no wrong answer. I guess. Right? Like, he just knew that his side stick would work, so he did it. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, in, in the scenario where you want a more generalized follow-up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I completely agree with what you're saying, but it was a 1v2 and he had the knockout no matter yeah. what he did. So he did, he did the move that you rarely see as a Tori yeah. because I think Fiend just likes a Tori set. That's I fair. I, I, I totally agree with you. And, it, and if it was a a 2v2, but they were getting a 1v2 during it, I don't think Fiend would have gone for that. Uh -huh. That was pretty neat. I mean, well, I've never seen, I've never heard someone so skeptical about something that worked. No, like, it, it's definitely worked, but I was like, do, would I be fine with that in any other scenario? <laughs> no. That's how I felt. <laughs> okay, yes. Totally agree. So let's see if we see that again in another scenario going into game number two here. It's a one lead for Fiend and Sack, and they made quick work over Akuma and Naji. <laughs> I'm glad they don't have cams on us because the pause and just stare me down. <laughs> Uh, Akuma already getting taken out onto his second stock, and Fiend wants to get more off of him. But a nice turnaround there. Akuma with that ground pounding to send Fiend over to the right side. Oh, falls with Dare. Can get another down air. Nice job with that recovery. There goes Nahi, though, and that's going to be Sack landing with an axe. Can't even make it back to the stage. Fiend hits recovery, hits Nair, helps his team make it back to the stage with a sideline, and then he spot dodges the downline from Akuma. That was fantastic. Sarah connects, weapon throw comes through, and Sack tries to get that Nair on the way back to the stage. Man, it's just so hard to take any of Bean's stocks. What the heck? Both of the red team members, Final. high survivability. Sack just jump, gravity cancel, down sig. Gonna launch the Whoa. other Taros as far as possible. Fiend went for that side sig once again. The Sarah actually hits both of them. I think Fiend's just in the side sig mood. <laughs> <laughs> really wants to do some He's side just, I really, really want to hit this reversal attack that now, now a down sig mood, that would be, that's when you're truly getting silly. Side sig's <laughs> just confusing. Right? Well, Double you know out. what? It, it's it's definitely working out for them. They're currently sitting on five stocks to the two of the blue team. Sack currently indestructible, still sitting on that starting stock with the two minutes into this plot. Oh, oh side sig comes me. through, and hey, I, <laughs> you're like scolding him for that. <laughs> I was like, I thought God. it was a good idea. He was trying to get a fast fall, I think. Actually, I think if Neutral Sig just came through there, that would have been perfect. Yeah, I don't know. Down, like, downlight Neutral Sig comes nice. through. 
Um, it ain't true, but honestly, if Bean's playing, you get a pass, right? Like, it's like when, he, when he's playing Hattori, you have to get hit by dude down like yeah. Um Oh, the simultaneous spot dodge. Stomps there. There goes Nai. Um, four stocks to one, almost four stocks to two. Yeah, Fiend, and Fiend's, Fiend looks a little bored. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. He's got to he's got to find ways Whoa. to entertain himself with his food. So he's he's building the mashed potato I don't mountain even think and he's filling interested his in cream. eating. I think he's just like he's just waiting. He has to wait out the the three. Look, Akuma and Nahi did a fantastic job to make it in the top eight. But these last two sets have been like here's a two v two team in SA, and then here's another team that's like I feel like I'm watching a pools match almost. I don't, I I. I Rarely, rarely do I feel such a struggle to be like, ah, if the enemy team just does this, this, and that, then it'll be fine. They'll win. I don't even feel like it's possible for them to take a game. I want wow. to jinx this so badly, but Fiend and Sack are playing so great. Who knocked them down? I got to uh, go back and It was check. Uh, Wes and... Uh, and Vimpty Kilo? Kilo? Okay. All right. But we're getting into this next one, and Akuma and Naji going to make some character swaps. We're getting the Olgrim and the Dalsim for game number three. Hoping Gauntlets and Lance are going to help them out as they're starting to get a solid team combo up onto Fiend. That might be what they need because Fiend's okay. survivability has so been insane. Sack and Fiend lost 3-2 to May and News. So they did, yeah. Oh, so it was May and News. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Power so it was, like, it was like a close game five. Um, yeah, so I was like wondering, cause if, they, if Fiend and Sack are playing this good, I was like, who the heck knocked them down? But it's the team that's already ahead of them in the bracket. Um, so it makes perfect sense. Stop Sarah comes through there. And this is the first lead that the, the blue team has. So maybe I just had to very powerfully jinx it by having absolutely no hope whatsoever in between matches. Yeah, I mean, the more hate that you spout, just the better the other teams do. <laughs> hey, hey, that's great. That's content. We'll be able to watch more games. Look at that. Gets that silent of recovery. Sacks out of the top of the stage. Toast giving me glares in the midst of technical support. And that side air from Akuma hitting Fiend oh, almost so taking us stuck. <laughs> Stomp side air. Akuma going to fall on the left side. Opportunity here for a power play. He gets the down light side air, but Naji not going to get taken out. Still sitting on that first stock, but the scoop up will turn it to a second one. Ooh, falls with that neutral light side light comes through. Okay. Oh, and now, oh, no, the doesn't oh, as well. Oh, Nice yeah. recovery. Double recovery. Naji tries to rotate down there, gives some reprieve, but Akuma is now on to his final stock here. Oh, and that side light goes through. Nope, nothing's going to hit off of that. Sider ends up connecting with Nahi. And now we have a slight lead for the red team. Let's see if they can make it back. That's, that Sarah from Fiend came so close to knocking Zack out. Spot dodge the side six. Zack uses the side light just to reposition, I guess. And then he goes down. All right. Oh. It's a lead for the blue team. I'll be the small one. Still a lead. Yeah, definitely possible to push this to a bigger lead, though. Uh, plenty of health left on Naji. Really, the eyes for me are on Akuma. He's the one that if he gets taken out, things are going to be really bad for the oh, blue team. Misses the recovery follow-up. Fiend tries to get a combo starter. Stops there. Puts oh. him on the side of the stage. It's a side back. sig. And Zack wasn't ready for it. He should have trusted. Fiend's been using that move all day. No, but Neutralite stops, oh, side light, D light, care. What a crazy burst of damage that Fiend and Sack just got on the night. Yeah, and that side sick from Sack to finish it off as well. That's just so much damage being put out onto this blue team. Red team about to put this one away. Dude, okay. Fiend just tried to style. He just did down light drift and then ledge cancel down light. Side sick hits. Oh, Fiend side sick again. <laughs> he side sick three times. Oh, he got the alley oop on that stair. That was so, that was so fast. Wow. Okay, Fiend and Sack. Exactly 1,000 damage, 500 per person. Oh, you know, I, that's what they were going for. I've never seen that. Wait, that's a screenshot. Production, take, save that. That's, <laughs> that. You want to keep that? You know, that's so frame cool. Frame it and put it on your wall. Look at that. Even numbers. Yeah. Numbers are cool. Numbers I guess so. I've never seen a 500, 500.